Hey folks, how you doing? Susie Meadows here. Sorry I'm late. It's just been that kind of a Monday. It's been a good day, but a busy, busy day. Welcome, welcome. This is Monday, August 14th. This is Susie Meadows, and we are going to make a, I consider it a quick and easy birthday card using some different goodies. So, hey, um, as you join me, let me know you are joining me by leaving a comment. Um, but I think we'll get started. I'm Susie Meadows, and I love doing paper crafts, um, especially with Stampin' Up! goodies. So I love making cards and, and uh, paper crafts and 3D items and things like that, and I like sharing. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to share some of the goodies that I've, that I've got here. So I'm going to move you over to the workspace here. So I hope you're having a good day. It has been a good day here. I better get ready here. And... Um, I was concerned it was going to be stormy because there was all kinds of thunder and booming, but it parted when it hit my place. It parted the way. So, hey, just want to let you know we've got the Christmas, the mini ca um, catalog getting ready to go. Those of you that have ordered from me, I have already put them in the mail. In fact, I think a lot of you already have this. It actually starts September 6th. I have a lot of goodies, so I'll start doing some sneak peeks. In fact, tonight, I'm going to show you one of the sneak peeks from this. But we are going to use, this is actually out of our annual catalog. This is the four square decorative masks. I call them stencils. But it's got several designs. It's got that design. It's got that one. It's got this one. And, and you know, I realized I need to check my iPad and make sure that I am broadcasting. And of course, it's across the room. So, as I reach over to get it <laughs> and drag all kinds of other papers with me today. So, I don't know if you've used these masks or stencils before, but I sure like using them. And um, I'm, I'm plugging in here, getting, checking things out. So maybe, maybe it has been a busy, busy day. So that's why one reason why I'm late hopping on here. Sorry about that. Yes, we are broadcasting, so that's good. Okay, so, and I see you get to work. I'm gonna scoot this here just a little bit, get you a little closer to me. That way I don't have to stretch as far. So. Susie Meadows and craftingwithsusie.stampinup.net. So we are got a couple projects to show you, but first we are going to craft. We are going, we're going to use this guy right here. I'm not sure what you'd call it. Sort of looks like a prism to me. And let me get these out of the way here. Make sure I have some space. Okay, I'm going to get, I have the azure afternoon so you can see, because these are white, but we are going to get inky. So, get that out of the way. And I have a card front, of course, water and white, but sorry, that's just the way it's going to go today. And I think we will go like this. Or do I want to go the other way? I'm going to go the other way this time. And I'm just sort of lining it up. Now you can just hold it, but I have found for myself, I get a little energetic. So it's best if I use some post-it or some tape to tape it down because otherwise I move it and it goes everywhere. We're gonna use a blending brush. I sure like using these and we're gonna use crumb cake and get a little bit of ink on here. I like getting the big mass off there and then coming in and just swirling it around. Or you can go straight up and down. It doesn't matter how you do it. So, and I like, actually, I like having variations of color. So we've got some dark areas and we've got some light areas. And I apologize, I'm not looking at comments, so... I will catch up with you guys afterwards. But I think that looks good. So let's pull it off and see what it looks like. Yep, I like that. So we'll go ahead and get the mask off here. Now, this has got a good bit of ink on it. And the way I like to clean these, 
my well-used chamois, which actually starts like this. It's pretty pink. So you can see I've used this quite a bit, but I've cut up another chamois and I have just a little quarter piece here and I just wipe it off. For me, that's the best way to get the ink off. So um, I have found that if I don't clean it, get the ink off, it definitely transfers. And sometimes things turn different colors because of that. Okay, get that out of the way. Now, I think we're going to do a sentiment. And this is a deckled, here we go. It's, well, you know, let's just go ahead and put it together. It's gonna go right there on a piece of crumb cake. So I like using the glue. Just as you see, I'm moving it fast. So there's not a lot on there because it is sticky. It is not your Elmer's glue. You don't need gobs. And I always like flipping it over. There we go. Now this, we're going to use a deckled. What are we using? We are deckled. I'm bringing it over here. See, I've got them here, okay, yep, yep, yep. The deckled rectangle dies. And I'm gonna use the third one. And many times I don't know what size I want. So I've I do a couple different things. One thing, when I get a set of dies, I go ahead and die cut all the sizes so I can see what they are. And I'm gonna use this something fancy stamp set. I'm gonna use a birthday card. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. In other words, oops, I'm a little late. But that's what I want to use. So obviously that one doesn't fit. This one, it'd be awful tight. So I think I'll go with number three. And, and see, I go ahead and write down my sizes. So that way I can pull these templates out and see what I might use. Another way you can do it is just literally pull your dies out and place them on there. And that's the size I'm going with, number three. So we've got that here. Scoot everything over and I'm gonna use crumb cake. That's why I kept it open. And to see how it stamps, I always like stamping down. Yep, I like that. So I am now ready to go straight down, let the ink transfer. So I like sit and let it sit for just a second or two, especially when it's a larger sentiment. Perfect. Now I want to outline this a little bit and I found the easiest way is just going into your ink pad and just going straight down. And that way it has just a little bit of a shadow. There we go. I'm gonna let that dry while I close up my ink. Okay, let's get our card base over here. And yeah, we'll flip it to the other side. It's not as distracting that way. Okay, so I want to raise this. So I'm gonna have some elevation. So I'm gonna use some dimensionals. And uh -huh, just pop them on the back. This is some dimensionals left over from a kit. We had class last Thursday. And you know, uh, August, we have all of our kits 30% off. So in the card class Thursday, we use three different kits. I think I wanna go this way or this way. I, wanna, I, I don't know, or I could go this way, which way? Uh, I sort of like, well, I don't know, I don't know. I sort of like that right there. But anyway, in class, we, made the projects with three different kits. It was so fun. Okay, so there we go. Now, I want just a little bit of bling, not too much. So let's see what my possibilities are. Let's check out. We could go, these are copper clay, so they're a little bit darker, but that would work. Or we could go with some neutral, some of the adhesives. Those would go, real. I think I wanna go with those right there. I don't know if you would call that, that's copper, gold, maybe bronze. I think that's what I want to go with. So get my take my pick tool and I think I want you there. And so we'll do another one 
up here. And I think I want a small one there. Oh, I need some more. I need more than three this time. I'm gonna put one clear down over here. I think I wanna put one up here. I'll put a smaller one right up there. So there we go. Quick and easy card, gang. And it's with the mask, it's with the blending brushes, the masks. These are the four square decorative masks. But I've got two other projects I want to show you. Get this out of the way. We've got not only this one, but we have got, I use that same design and did thanks so much in, that was actually Old Olive, but I put this on Granny Apple Green card base. And here's another one. Oh, happy day. And those two sentiments actually come from kindest expressions. But those are some really simple, to me, simple and easy cards that are really fun to use these masks for. And I wanted to show you a sneak peek of what we've got coming. Uh, this is in September we can get these. Let me get my colors back. Let's get this back here so we can see. The Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. There's seven of them. And let's see if I can get them out here. There is the Snowflake. I like it. There is, um, hmm, is that hound's tooth or something like that? And well, thank you, Jennifer. And here's some for fall. We have or acorns and leaves. And then this next is sort of a builder. It's got your sunflower. It's got the inside. Well, here, we'll do it this way. It's got your sunflower, the outline here. It's got the inside so you can have a different color. Uh, for that. And then here, if you want some variated seeds for the inside of your sunflower, and then here's some leaves that you can do. So this is really fun. I haven't had a chance. I just got these. Haven't had a chance to play with them, but you've got your sunflower, your hound's tooth, your, um, let me see, your snowflakes, and your leaves. And that is the Abundant Beauty and we can get those starting in September. So I will be playing with those. But just to summarize, gang, I wanna show you these, once again, these quick and easy. This was a sneak peek here, but these are the ones that are available right now in our annual catalog. And these are the four square decorative masks. Fun and easy, something really quick to put some cards together. So gang, thanks so much for joining me. I will be back next Monday, which is August 21st, and I'll try to be on time <laughs> with no internet issues or anything like that. So thanks so much. Looking forward to seeing you again. Again, if you like this, definitely uh, put a comment. Let me know which card you like the best. I, I, I don't know which one I like. I like all three. But also, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure that you um, um, subscribe and hit the notification button the bell so you'll know when I put another video on. So thanks a bunch, gang. Got any questions, get a hold of me at craftingwithsusie.stampinup.net. Thanks so much. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.